Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Kingdom. Well, I've noticed on the map here, there are several new question marks really close to uh, where I've decided to set up my farm. And I find that a bit curious, uh, because I know for sure that they weren't here before. I assume that they're all farms, because that's about the only thing that's built out by itself, kind of like this. Oh! And I'm pretty sure I'm walking in midair here. Yeah! Leveled up, plus 10 learning points. I'm pretty sure we have an incredible number of learning points right now, so I need to go find some people to teach me how to do things. Uh, over here on the coast looks like where this one is. Yep. 100 experience points for finding these places. I think that's pretty good. And it's a good thing there's no fall damage in this game. I would be a little bit nervous about jumping off my horse right now. Though I can talk to those guys in the future. Uh, I don't think there's any real purpose except that they might have some skills that I'm looking for. Um, you can't like barter or trade or sell with farmers. So I'm not even sure right now that they uh, plant anything in their gardens once they get them built. And whenever I was loading the game up in the first place, uh, there were six roads that it decided to build. There we go. Now we're back on the ground. And then um, ever since I got here, uh, it's just been building road after road after road. Really... Um, is interesting. I want to see a bunch of the roads, uh, what they look like. I want to explore the other towns and stuff like that. Uh, but at the same time, it really kills my frames. And it's really hard to deal with, so... I'm sure that's something that's going to be ironed out in the future. It's not anything that I'm... Um... It's not game-breaking or anything like that. It's just kind of a nuisance, is all. Let's head over to town here and see if there's been any improvements made. If not, I think what I'm going to do is start pitching in around here, um, adding a lot of wood to different structures and stuff. There we go. Now we're following the actual terrain instead of floating around in the air. Yeah, because, like, especially the common house hasn't been built yet. Um, and that should have been done first. So I'm going to spend some time helping these people... Uh, build this stuff. I've been thinking about the skills that I want to get as well. Uh, you can't really tell from here what the good ones are. Let's see if I can look at a notice board or maybe talk to one of these people standing out here. This, Aaron, how's it going? Um, can you teach me anything? Okay, so we need Digger for sure. Um, That'll help us out once we start getting uh, metal and stuff like that. But I think before we get Digger, we're going to need the Blacksmith stuff. Scroll Master would be a good one to get um, because it gives us bonus experience. We're leveling up really quick, but that will be good. Uh, Taskmaster, um, give us a, a lot of new buildings that we'll be able to build. Wooden Towers, the Smith, Shop. Wooden Tavern, all those kinds of stuff, so that's definitely something that I want to look into. Um, money Lender, let's see, Shop and Wooden Tavern. I was thinking the Trader, oh, okay, this is just a larger version of it. Um, Army costs 15 gold per soldier. Sounds like they're fighting. I'm not interested much in the Swordsman. Uh, Pilgrim would be nice, Butcher would be nice, uh, but Blacksmith Apprentice is probably really good. So we can get a smith going. Um, and then, oh, this person has the ability to do bandit stuff. Okay, so let's get the blacksmith apprentice right now, because I know I'm going to want that in the future. And then um, we'll take a look around for some of these other ones. But like I say, I'm going to hang out here, and I'm going to help them... Finish up this common house at least. Finish up some of the other buildings as well. There aren't any quests, so... Um, 
I'm just gonna get some experience from doing this other stuff. Well, this is kind of a shame. Um, I picked up the wood out of my horse's saddlebags and came over here to the common house. I can't build on it. Um, in old builds of the game, I could just go come up here and throw wood in there, and it would give me a tiny bit of experience every time. Now it's telling me that I'm not allowed uh, to build on other people's houses, only quest givers and stuff like that. Um, there's no way that I can trade with Kvass here, here to, um... Yeah, there's no merchant or anything like that. Um, so unfortunately, I can't help him build the common house here. I wonder if I'm going to have to set up a shop in the town and sell wood out of it, because I imagine that that's the only thing that's holding him back right now. Uh, if he doesn't have the money to buy the wood then that's an even bigger problem. A uh, different kind of problem. But yeah, that's super strange. I really don't like that. I don't think that um, they should have taken that out of the game. I feel like if I have scaffoldings sitting around in a city, whether they're mine or not, I should be able to uh, apply some of my resources to them and get a tiny bit of experience for it. So, uh, that's really a shame. I hope that they change that back in the future. If they don't, uh, I can kind of understand it. But at the same time, yeah, I like the way that it used to be. Absolutely, for certain. So, hopefully they change that back, but if not, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go over to my place then, and, uh, work on some stuff around there. Probably go ahead and build the bakery, so that I can get some experience from that. And then, uh... Maybe the smith as well. But I'll bring you back when I have those two buildings erected. Well, as is tradition in several of my most previous episodes, I lied. Um, instead, of, instead of building the bakery and the blacksmith, I've just built the bakery, and I'm going to build the shop next over in the town so that I can sell stuff to them. Uh, the reason for that is because instead of... Let's see, let me explain this correctly. I have Blacksmith's Apprentice perk right now, and in order to build the actual smith, you have to have a uh, Blacksmith Novice. Novice Blacksmith, which is the next next stage. But I did grab the Moneylender and Taskmaster perks, uh, which gives me the option to build a shop. I can also go out into the world and build my own settlement somewhere. Um... Scholar Taskmaster is all I need, that's what I have. It doesn't take any wood. Uh, same with the notice board, and then I could build my own uh, common house and get that going somewhere else. If I really think about it, I could build it just behind me here, on this other end of the island, and um, yeah, start, start my own little town back there. I might end up doing that, as a matter of fact, and make it a richer place more excellent than Avidavum, Avid, Emma, Emma Vatum ever decided that it wanted to be. I think that's the population count right there, 17 on the map. Uh, I wish I could move the map around independently and kind of take a look. Because there's 22 there at Atrobatum, and then there's Undiscovered Cities pretty close by. Um, and they're all pretty well spaced out. I don't know if I'll even be able to build a settlement over in that area behind me. Let's go ahead and take a look. Because I was, I was kind of thinking about it earlier, and that's about the only thing that I wouldn't have done in this playthrough, is build my own city. Um, but I wanted to be able to be close to my farm here. At least reasonably so. And I think over here in these woods would probably be a decent spot for it. Kind of on the coast, uh, inviting the ships in, as it were. See, I could totally build it right here. And there's plenty of animals, plenty of game around. It's really close to my farm, I can see it from here. There's trees nearby. Uh, so I think this is the spot, more or less. If it doesn't allow me to build it here, though, I can go a little bit further. Okay, yeah. Settlement none. 
So I can totally build uh, my own town right here. Let's do it. Settlement name, of course, is going to be Kathfatmi Utopia. Topi. Oh man. Kath. Kathtopia Berg. That'll totally work. And it was established. Now we can build the sign here. The notice board. Um, clearly hiding from me. Whoa! We have a road to us already. So that's pretty spectacular. Put the notice board uh, pretty much, well, we should have it beside the road here, I believe. So the people coming into town can see the notices. Built. And then we'll go for the common house. Whoa! We'll have it right on this other side right here. Assuming that the land is flat enough to allow for it. Nope. Oh. Well, I guess it's not that far away. It just feels far away. Let's make sure it's facing the well and stuff, though. Kind of ooch. There we go. Aha! That will have to do. It's close enough. I would say. Um, and I'm gonna head over to this big... Well, I can get some of the wood here. I don't think that's gonna be quite enough to finish it, but... It will be something. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna head over to these trees right here. Well, before we get into um, building the buildings around, we're here at Kothtopia Berg, the notice board. Uh, settler 0 right now, houses 1, that counts the common house scaffolding. Uh, settler info, of course, there's not going to be any. And then we can get into management. So we can check out these different banners that are super awesome uh, and find a flag that most suits our uh, town's personality here. Stag, a dragon, a dragon of a different kind. Eagle, that one's kind of cool. Two-headed eagle, that's very cool. A horn. A lions. Uh, I can't remember what these are called. Lure de Lis or something like that. French stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It almost looks like a vulture, but it probably like a eagle or a hawk. Oh, a tree. That one's very cool. I like the tree the most. Uh, taxes are up at 31%. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I think maybe... More like... 10% maybe? We'll see if that brings in a lot of people. Uh, we're very unhappy right now. That doesn't matter because we don't have any people, actually. Um... Guards required skills. It looks like I can select these. I would like for them to be very skilled at archery, preferably. Um, especially if I build towers, sort of a thing. And then soldiers required skills to be kind of both, I would say. Soldiers in army. Zero. Okay, so we can have like a standing army. We can have guards... Uh, after we build guard houses, maybe, and then we don't have any taxes to collect right now, so that's fine. Um, just wanted to show y'all setting that much up, and then oh, I don't think we have any wood on our person. I put it all on the horse. We need one more. Finish off two more. Finish off the house here. I think I only put nine in it. Yeah. Ta da. So we've seen a common house uh, in the other town. Um, it's got bunk beds there, bunk beds there. We've got cooking tables where we can roast meats. Um, just like a campfire or anything like that. Can't get around that direction apparently. I can sleep in the beds, turn it to morning. Um, then upstairs here, it's just all bunk beds. Huge, huge bunk house basically. Uh, I think I will sleep until morning. 
just so that it's uh, nice and light outside. Of course, this does mean that I need to run back to the farm and uh, check on all of my goodies. My flower has been milling, so it's probably ready now. <clears throat> and so I need to get that set up a little more appropriately. Uh, but yeah, I want to throw down a shop here. A big one. Takes 20 wood for this guy, but I think it's definitely worth it. Try to get it facing the road, and I would like for it to be... Hill is too steep. Uh, close up to the entrance, if possible. Maybe right at the bottom of this hill. Too close to another structure. Okay. There we go. Kind of facing the road, more or less. That looks like the place to be. Okay. We'll call the horse over here. I loaded him up pretty good with wood. And so we ought to have uh, plenty available. We are pretty hungry. So I'll eat these uh, wheat seeds there. And we can get that out of the way so that we can pick up... Oh. A little bit of lag there. From the roads. I'm really impressed how quickly the road was built uh, over to this settlement here. Um, I know it's just based on probably my location to this other town, how close we are to it, so it was easy for it to calculate and construct. Alright, so we've built a shop here. We can come in and we can trade. Um, let's see what else is available to us as the shop owner. There is an outside, correct? Okay. There's stairs up to the top floor. That's what I was looking for. Try to get around here. And, yeah. Storage. Here we go. Um, so I think I want money in here. In case somebody wants to sell stuff to the shop. Um, that will be the money that's used to buy. That stuff? Yeah. So we've got 300 gold here. Um, I could probably try to sell my dagger because I'll never use it. My axe is better as far as a weapon goes, and once I get the smith going, I'll have uh, better weapons to use. Um, I think every town, of course, needs a tavern, so I'm going to build one of these large wooden taverns. Hopefully, I have enough wood uh, to accomplish this, but I'm going to try and put it around on this other side of the road here. Okay, this is where we're still too steep. Try to bring it up, aha, this direction. Close to the road as we can have it. This is looking like the place. Yep. That's pretty good, that's actually right next to the road and pretty close to town. I wasn't uh, I wasn't paying attention to the top to make sure it's still um, part of the town, but I think with the well being the town center, uh, it shouldn't be any problem. And it looks like we do have enough wood to finish this up. I don't know if the taverns serve any practical purpose. There we go, though. Um, in case anybody wants to come visit, come in, have a few drinks, that sort of thing. We have it totally set up. I would say that this would add some kind of appeal, uh, bring in more settlers because they'd say, oh hey, it's really exciting to uh, have a tavern in town available where we can go get some drinks um, and make everything make everything happen. Okay, that ship landed over by the pink village there. I'd be surprised if we get any settlers until a ship lands kind of over on this side of the island. I'm going to put some of this wood up in the storehouse here. Yeah. So we can see the... Uh, boxes and stuff are starting to pile up. That's a very cool mechanic. I'm really glad that it uh, shows you that there is stuff in 
in storage here. Okay. I could sell my medicinal plants as well. I'm definitely going to sell my uh, sword, dagger. Uh, like I said. Um, yeah, I might as well throw medicinal plants in there just in case somebody wants them. And then we can come around here and we can check on the prices and stuff. I don't think we can adjust them. Uh, but we can see here, 16 gold for each wood. Uh, 985 for the dagger and 94 per medicinal plant. I think that's per and not for the whole stack. Um, let's see if there's a way to check that. Yeah, it is per. So that's telling me uh, 94 there for the plants. Okay, very cool. So yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, let's take a quick jaunt over to the farm and check on the mill. Man. I try to build out here in a peaceful rural setting and all I hear are the sounds of industry. Oh, here we go. We got our five flower here. Uh, the rest of this wheat isn't quite grown. It's getting there pretty quick though. So let's come in here. I have wheat in storage. And we can run out here and plop that back in. Now, what do we need to do next? We need to come over to the bakery and check out what amazing cooking options we have available. Uh, items need flour bag one. Okay, make flour. Flour bag. We need tin flour. We need two flour for bread. So I'm curious what the purpose is of making a flour bag. Is this a compacted version of flour, I guess? Because you get tin out of it, tin flour, but then you need the flour separate in order to make the different things. So if we had uh, five berries, we could make some berry pies, uh, cabbage potatoes, peppers and carrots, salad and cucumber, pumpkin and onion. That sounds like a strange mix. Uh, tomatoes and onion. So we have salad and cucumbers, we have peppers and carrots, uh, we have cabbages and potatoes. We also have pretty easy access to berries. So I think what I'm going to do here... Let me run over here and see how far along these gardens are. I don't think I have any salad, or I mean, enough vegetables readily available, no. I ate the only pumpkin that I've uh, kept so far. Okay, all of these are ready here. I can pull them out. And we'll go back and see what vegetable pies we can make. Whatever I have left over in flour, I can uh, go scavenge some berries and make those up. So let's check it out. Okay, we can make two of these cabbage and potatoes. Uh, we can make two salad and cucumbers. So that might be it. Let's make both of these. Lamb, bam. Uh, you can see hunger minus 100. That's pretty epic, I have to say. Alright. So there's four four pies and you can see it's nighttime already they're just all called vegetable pies so that's pretty cool um clearly they don't stack i mean separately like uh it's not cucumber vegetable pies and potato vegetable pies but that's really good uh, and then we have these other various vegetables and stuff um that should have sped up the time yeah, we're down to 17 minutes here for these. I would be surprised if these... Yeah, they're getting really close. Um, so I probably should have planted more stuff in the other garden before I did that so that it would have time to start growing. But let's take a look here. I'll need um, salad seeds. Let's go with three of those. Uh, I harvested peppers. Pumpkins. Potatoes. Okay. 
That might be more than what we can fit in there. Because I know there's only 15 slots and I can... So there's something in the other garden that's not in here. Cucumbers, maybe. Cabbages. Cabbages is what I didn't plant in this other garden here. Okay, well I'm going to uh, get a rest again, and then we can go stock up um, the store with more stuff. A ship with nine settlers, that's good. Let's see where that landed at. Somewhere far away. Oh yeah, way on the other side of the world there. So it may be quite some time before we get villagers here. We may not get villagers here. That's a strong possibility. Best case, um, your best chance at getting villagers is to start off the game uh, with the Taskmaster and um, Scholar perks. So that you could just go ahead and very first thing, whenever you get in here, yeah, Scholar and Taskmaster, um, build a well and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Slow down and pop off here. And we will throw in our vegetable pies. So let's go check and see... Um, oh, I didn't notice how hungry I am. Pretty hungry. I should probably kept one and ate, eaten it for myself, but I have the stuff to make a berry pie, so I'll probably do that. Um, wait a second. I don't remember putting flour in here, but we have four uh, vegetable pies right now. 188 apiece. Well, that's pretty expensive, I have to say. Let me come up here and check and see what, what it means by that flour. Huh. I don't... hang on. Do we have... somebody sold us flour. That's what just happened. Somebody sold flour to this shop. Um... Yeah. And got some money from it, so congratulations to them. That's good. We've got three houses, zero settlers. Very poor. That's to be expected. Like I say, until a ship lands closer to town. Um... We're not really going to have much luck with all of that sort of stuff. Alright, well I can make about six berry pies. So let's go take a look in the woods for a few berry bushes real quick. Hop over here, throw down six berry pies. Wow, that takes two hours to make them each. So that's 12 hours that I've just spent here. 14 settlers have arrived on the map. I'm going to be checking every time now to see where the ship is. Other side of the world again. Uh, we're incredibly hungry now. We're probably dying. We are dying. So let's go ahead and eat one of these pies then. Oh! Ugh, you're not going to re-stack in a stack of five? That's really annoying. Um. Okay. Well, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I feel like we did quite a bit. Uh, it was a little bit unexpected. I was not planning on going in and um, making my own city here. So that was definitely a big surprise, to be sure. Wow, got so much stuff here. I need to remember to plant cabbages over in this one, for sure. Um, but I can put most of this stuff in storage. Salad, of course, is ready really quickly. And I can use that storage to craft up some more pies, uh, take them over and sell them. Okay, so that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting if you would. And be sure to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in.
I thank you very much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.